Ethiopia is slowly introducing a new set of private taxi companies, which a number of women are hoping to take advantage of. Phone and online services are opening up the market, which traditionally has been dominated by men. CGTN's Colette Anjohi met one woman in Addis Ababa who's decided to get behind the wheel and make her own money. One year ago, Eskeder Teklegogis decided to take advantage of the government's offer for tax-free importation of taxis and imported this car. She registered it with Ride, a taxi hailing company, and employed a driver because at that time she had another job. The driver was paying her 500 Ethiopian beer per day. But after a few months, she realized it was worth giving up her job and taking the wheel herself. Driving the car and getting money. Very easy, very simple. The people is really appreciate me. Everybody in Ethiopia and have never uh, get a bad person. Eskeder doesn't mind she's the only female driver among the 800 registered by the ride company so far. She hopes the government will open up another tax-free regime, specifically for women, to allow more to join her. These women in the industry are also considering setting up a female driver's association if they can get enough women to become taxi drivers. So the government, if the girl, for the girl, give this chance again, I, I'm definitely sure all girls, they will use this one. All girls, they will take this one. Because the, now I am, we are asking again to give especially for the girls this, this chance. Ride, the company where Eskeder has signed to, is in fact founded by a woman, a professional IT programmer. In 2016, she created a system where people could request for a registered cab using SMS and later designed a downloadable application. It will be profitable after two years, but now it's not profitable because we used, we, we, used to, we used to do for free almost for two years. Uh, one, year in, one year internet based, one year for uh, SMS based. So we're doing R&D at the same time, uh, so it's not profitable right now. Unlike in the individual taxi business where all the money belongs to the owner, the one by companies relies on cost sharing. Ride takes 17 Ethiopian beer from every 100 beer that a driver makes. On a good day, Eskeder says she can carry 14 passengers, and even when business is low, she gets at least three. But the competition to these new companies is still very stiff. The market is still dominated by individuals operating taxis and moving around the city looking for customers. The new taxi companies, therefore, have to invest much more in marketing themselves and encourage more people to use their platforms and seek their services. So far, there are about three taxi hailing app companies operating in Addis Ababa. And despite the competition, Eskeder says she's excited about the prospects of business. She says after completing her loan for this car, she intends to buy another one. Colette Anjohi, CGTN in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.